talk to Cassie Dalton. Shame what happened. Children of Adam are dangerous. Mitch, I got your daddy. My boy! He actually did it. Did what? Chased me from my home? We should dump him in the harbor. You're really not grateful? You get to see your boy again. Ah, it is good to see family again. He never visits our right. Here. I... Mitch I, is at a loss for words. Hush now. I owe you one. Fire belly recipe? What is that? Hard to believe before you came here, all hope seemed lost. But now we've, we've taken back homesteads. People are finally coming together. And all of it, it's all because of you. You give me too much credit. Hardly. With all you've done, including the captain's dance, I guarantee you, generations from now, we'll still talk about you. My people are so mired with their own concerns, I don't think they even realize that you saved us. All of us. Anything I give you or do for you, it, it just isn't enough. But take this and thank you. I already have a suit though. This is so ancient. Guns, guns, and more guns. Let's see here. You need it? The bait shop's got it. Oh, that was a different quest line. Those fog condensers are back online. Good. Our water supply was starting to get low. Wasn't sure how much longer we could hold out. Did you find Howard? Is there a next of kin? If so. You should notify. I should never have let him go out there alone. Well, I said it was paying work. 200 caps should be enough. Captain, nobody's gonna want to help you out unless you're prepared to pay a fair wage. Well, I can't argue with that. I suppose I could spare a little more. I can give you 250 caps. <laughs> I feel caps. like such a sleazeball. Keeping everyone supplied with water is worth a lot more than that. You drive a hard bargain, Mainlander. I'll give you 300 caps. Howard Dunbar died trying to get this job done. His life was sure as hell worth more than that. So You're mine. squeezing blood from a stone, stranger. I can give you 400, but not a cap more. Now, here's your pay. I've got to start making arrangements for Howard. So I'll say goodbye. That's why you need to invest into charisma. I heard about those. Longfellow admires me. I better not. I better make sure that we don't sleep in the same room. I guess I should talk to him. Where Police is he? sell guns over by the tourist shop. Give him more Can conversation. Yeah. Okay, we can talk. Look, I know I ain't the easiest man in Far Harbor to get along with. Social graces? Well, that's never been my strong suit. Thing is, most folk in Far Harbor ain't worth a damn anyway. All of them cowering behind their wall, too scared to fight for their home. Can't like someone I can't even respect. And, uh, well, that brings me to you. So, you're saying you respect me? I ain't going soft on you now. Don't be thinking that. All I'm saying is, it's good to meet someone who can take care of themselves for a change. Hell, I ain't been close to a lot of folks in my life. And there's even fewer I'd call a friend, but who knows? We stick together long enough, Captain. And it might just be that you're my next one. You sure about that? My friends tend to get into a lot of dangerous situations. That's every day of my life. All right, enough of this blubbering. You lead and I'll follow. Seems to be working out so far. Do you want to talk again? Hey. Go on. 
Hi. What you got for me, Captain? Your thoughts? Sure you want to be out and about in the dark, Captain? How do you think things are between us? You've got some grit, I'll give you that. Can't say that about most folks I know. That's all. Suit yourself. All right, we're gonna follow Pearl now to the Cliffside Hotel. It's that big building right there, so it's not too far away. It's the building with the vault in front of it. Maybe she'll open the vault for us. Looks like she has like a flamethrower. No, if I had a station here, Looks I could. Like it isn't just the police who have been lax lately. The island's building inspector ought to be fired. I could fix you real nice, give you a new body. I can do that now. There's Longfella. Alright, finally got back here again. Took longer than it should. Alright, you open a door for me. The hotel staff really needs to do something about the lobby. I should warn you, some of the other hotel guests are a bit, um... Rowdy. I was forced to defend myself when a few became a bit hand. Let's go. I wish we still had the staff to keep up this area of the hotel. It's in quite a state of disrepair. Shall we be off? What do you mean the other patrons are rowdy? I had not been in this part of the hotel for some time. Perhaps there is some sort of sporting event that has them agitated. Several of them tried to grab me and, well, their clothing was certainly not suitable for polite company. Shall we be off? Yeah, let's go. Very good. This way. Lead the way, Pearl. You'll be my version of BB-8 opening doors and whatnot. seem to be out of order on this level. We'll have to take the long way around. Which is where? Pearl a little faster, please. Oh. Ooh. Cool. Open says me to a vault. Did you kill all you guys? I'm impressed. This elevator leads to the exclusive area of the hotel. You should feel quite privileged that they will be allowing you in. It's the vault. Mass Effect loading screen. This control panel. Greetings! Welcome to Vault 118. You're home away from home, underground. Are you the detective? 
detective we sent for? Yes, I'm the detective. Uh, thank goodness. Let me just open the door for you. That was rather easy. Still pristine in here. Let's talk about my compensation first. Very well. Consider this a retainer. Ugh, more pre-war money. Have a look at the crime scene for clues. And when you're ready, we can discuss your findings. That at the crime scene again? Don't they realize that they're going to disturb the evidence? You'd better come with me, detective. The robots did it. It's Skynet. What the hell do you think you're doing? This is a crime scene. Do you not see the glory of the thing? The artistry. What the hell is wrong with you? Excuse me? This you have outdone yourself. <gasps> this is your finest world. There is more emotion in his death than most have had in their entire life. Our friend is dead, Mr. Avita. Have you no respect? I'm just saying that at least he had the decency to make a spectacle of it. There is nothing Please, worse than someone else. Else. That's what I could just you. have your attention. You're sick. I'm sorry for shouting. Say, fun. Yeah. But the detective is wrong. And shall begin the investigation henceforth. Please return to your rooms until the detective has examined the crime scene and had a chance to come speak with you. What the hell is going on? It's like Friday night mystery dinner, man. I bet you these guys killed these robots killed all the people that are supposed to be in this vault. Have a look at the crime scene for clues. When you're ready, we can discuss your findings. Protect and you are serve. free to question the residents. But their safety is our priority. So unless you have solid evidence, I would avoid accusations. Looks like the brain enclosure was smashed. Is this blood? Yes. A baseball bat. Huh. What is this doing here? Hello again, detective. Was there anything else? Your residents are robots. Not robots, detective. Well, not exactly, anyway. <laughs> I believe the term they use is robo-brain. Back before the war, the residents decided the best way to wait it out was to put their brains inside robotic chassis. Was there anything else? I found the murder weapon. Oh, no. That's the bat from Mr. McKinney's movie. You don't think he could be involved, do you? I can't imagine him ever doing such a thing. Was there anything else? I'm not sure where I should start. I suppose you should try to figure out how he died. And then who had the means and motive to kill him? Once you have enough evidence, then I suppose you'll need to confront the killer. Was there anything else? Tell me about the victim. Mr. Ezra Parker was the primary owner and financier for the hotel. He had vast experience managing venture projects around the world. It was his idea to have our premier clients become investors in the vault section of the hotel. He worked with Vault Tech to have this built to their every specification. Was there anything else? Never mind. I'll be here should you need me. It was Colonel Mustard in the library with the rope. That's the right, Keith McKinley. Who's Keith McKinley? Protect and serve. Well, 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 well. It isn't the law, I'm the law. Tell me, are you a devotee of the arts? Does that cruel muse call you to her entrapping bosom? Art is life. Without it, we are no different than animals. Perhaps. 
If all we are is a sentience floating in a suit of flesh, or metal, I suppose, then art is the only true communion with the world. Come with me. Tell me, what does this piece say to you? It's about composition, the balance of colors and emotions, and the struggle to maintain internal order. Indeed. This was the last piece I did in a series of portraits of Gilda. Number 1378. Her emotional landscape is superimposed on the portrait. The reality of the subject is distorted as the ego attempts to project itself. This way. Guy better give me something good. It's nukes. Tell me, what does this one say to you? It's the war. Bombs from every direction. No up or down. The world turns on its head. In a way, it must be. Art shapes the world, and the world shapes art in return. Or art must therefore be constantly reborn through the lens of contextual and historic interpretation. Easy there, wheels. And what about this one? And please be honest, for art without honesty is just politics. This is bullshit. <laughs> Young creature grappling with ideas, it doesn't possess the capability to understand. Meaning. The mind will superimpose meaning where none was intended. I had not Truth considered. be told, this is my best selling piece. I did this series under a pseudonym, of course. This series has made more money than any of my serious works. And I take the whole thing as a lark. What does that tell you about the value of art to the common man? My fellow connoisseur. Did you have any thoughts about the murder? The person you should be looking at is Juliana Riggs. That Philistine would not know art from her own ex. She and Ezra had a rather dramatic fight recently. You could hear her banshee screeches all the way across the hotel. What were Juliana and Ezra arguing about? I don't know. I was painting at the time and I was trying to block it out. Though I bet Gilda probably heard them. Maybe you should check with her. It sounds like you've done a lot of paintings of Gilda. Our Why Gilda not? is a very singular creature, detective. Do you not see this what fear from me? I have never met another who clings to life so tenaciously. Who lives so in the moment. I must admit I was quite smitten with her for a time. You're still in love with Gilda, aren't so you? So what if I am? What business is it of yours? There's someone who truly understands her ephemeral beauty, not that broke actor. Tell me about yourself. What is there to tell? I am one of the premier artists in the world. My work is primarily in oil paint, but I have been known to do sculpture or performance art as well. Maybe later. Good. I hope my paintings are able to open your mind to new possibilities. That Tesla coil is really kind of getting on my nerves. The hell? I just got jizzed on. Hello, Mr. Whiskers. Who's a pretty kitty? Juliana. Yeah, Hello, detectives. Did you have a question about the heinous murder? Did you have any thoughts about the murder? If you ask me, it's one of those actors. Or that horrible painter. Their type is always the cause of violence. I heard you had a big fight with Ezra a few days ago. Care to oh, explain? Well, it wasn't that big a deal, really. He wanted more money to pay for repairs on the hotel. I wasn't feeling well that day and lashed out a bit at the poor man. I really should have listened to him more. What's with all the junk in here? These are our things. We're just waiting till the war blows over so we can bring them back to the mansion. T 
Tell me about yourself. I'm Juliana Riggs, heiress to the Riggs fortune and wife of Bert Riggs. I'm not sure what else you expected, Detective. Maybe later. Good luck catching the murderer, Detective. Oh. Of course. <laughs> Look, <laughs> this is Did you need something? Did you have any thoughts about the murder? Oh, well, that's not really my field of expertise, but I'm sure there are probably some clues at the crime. Was there something else, you detective? I heard that Juliana and Ezra had an argument a few days before he was found dead. Well, Tell me about I that. was in my lab at the time, so I didn't think, didn't hear it. But Juliana has always been rather critical of Mr. Parker. I think she found something in the overseer's office. Uh, I wasn't listening when she told me about it. I, I kind of had my head in my head. Oh, really? I try to let her handle all the money stuff. Was there something else, you detective? Have you noticed Juliana acting strangely? Oh, like well, uh, I'm probably just being paranoid, but... Uh, She's been so much more pleasant lately. I mean, it's been nice, but also most people don't really understand us. Yeah, but I always appreciated how she can just take charge of the situation. Which allowed me to focus on my research. I, I'm worried something has happened to her. She doesn't seem like the same Was person. There something else, the detective? What do you mean Juliana's not the same person? My wife has always been a very harsh woman, detective. I don't know who it is in our rooms, but that is not my wife. Was detective. there something else, the detective? Did you have any thoughts about the murder? Yeah, I don't want to talk. Just let me have it. Hello again. Did you need something? Tell me about yourself. Yeah, I don't want to talk. No. No, it's not that. I've just got it. Hello, Detective. No, Did you have a question about the Hades? Last month you were convinced you had the measles. Never mind. Good luck catching the murderer, Detective. You're not a doctor. What would you even know about it? And besides, I think it may be malaria. First of all, I am a doctor. Yes, but not a real doctor. Robotics isn't an actual medical degree. Secondly, I've told you time and again, you can't get sick inside the suit. It's not... So it's not actually her in there. Mr. Scrubby and I are going to rewrite the will. So he will get everything when I die because horrible Bert didn't believe me. Oh god, Juliana. Have fun here. <laughs> the squabbling. She just stormed out. Maybe I can talk to her. Hello again, 